Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dean Fowl and um, I'm glad you're around today. I'm going to put out a few more videos extra this week while I have time. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw in Radan 2D CAD and we'll get it to a point where we could possibly even bring it into a 3D drawing. Okay, so we're just going to have a quick second here and then we'll catch up on the next section. Hey, right, so let's get into it. We've got Radan 2D CAD, okay, so with most CAM software you have a little bit of a 2D package. Um, what's exceptionally great about the Radan 2D package is you can do a multiple number of things here. And we're going to get into it. So here you can see here's my menu bar. It's very compact, but it's all geared around sheet metal so I can come in and draw a feature. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a pan and we'll get that up here in a second. I'm going to come in here. Um, I can draw lines, I can draw shapes, so I'm going to start off with a shape. You can see I've got different shapes. You've got one you can take out corner notches and stuff like that. Well. I'm actually just going to start off with a rectangle so I can show you a couple of these other tools, right? So here you can see i got 12 by 8. Well, I'm going to actually do, um, let's do 24, uh, 30 inches, and then I'm going to go 24, and there's my rectangle. I place my rectangle here. This as I move my cursor around, you can see I have a rectangle on that cursor, right? That'll go away as soon as I hit another application or p select another um, functionality that I want. Or I can simply just come up here and hit cancel cursor object. <coughs> so now I've got the cursor object there. Maybe I want to put in some notches, right? So if I come in here and go notch, I have different notches to select from. So I'm actually going to start in the bottom here, and I'm just going to do um, a 3 by 3 notch. And if I hold it in this corner, you can see it um, gives me a preview, right? So if I hold it there, hit select, it notches that corner. So now that I've got that notch there, I'm going to do some other things. So... Maybe I want to put a chamfer on here, and I'm going to go, let, let's, yeah, let's chamfer this, 45, right? So, there, 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 and there. So, I've just put a chamfer on those edges. Now, what I want to do is I want to come in here, and I'm going to put some, a little corner relief so if I come and select this inverse fillet I can put in a radius so I'm gonna put um, 0.031 it should give me a 16th of an inch um, cor relief corner for when I bend this guy up right so there we have we have our 2d drawing <coughs> excuse me so now what else do I want to do well you know what I want to um, put another bend out here so I'm actually going to use the offset command and go parallel copies uh, we're not going to offset the whole profile I'm just going to offset the line and I'm actually going to go a half inch right there and there and there right so if I grab this corner I'm actually gonna um, we'll merge these two together this one together right now here I can select a line 
I can do connected lines. Connected lines are something like this. Right. Um, if I do the other command, I'll just get rid of that. If I do the other command, I'll do unconnected lines and it just gives me the one line. Okay. So now that I've got that, I'm actually going to bring this line down to here on that one. Down to here on that one. Right, so I've got those lines there. <coughs> I'm actually going to, oops, I'll do a connected line from here to there, there to there. It's going to be a bend line there. Actually, well, right. So let's um, actually let's get rid of this line. Sorry, and we'll do partial delete on this one and partial delete on that one. All right. So now I'm going to assign some bend lines so I can um, understand what we're doing here. So. We'll do a bend line. You can click on lines. Um, I'm going to change my line color. I'll just do this line. And we're going to snap a bend line from here to there. There. To there. There. To there. Right, and then I'm actually going to snap a bend line from here to here, and from this corner relief all the way up, and then we're going to do this corner relief all the way up. Right now, <clears throat> I want to bend these other ones but they're a solid black line so how do I do that I come up here to the edit properties we select the edit common properties which is this pen looking thing here and then we come here and we hit there and we'll grab our line type there's our gaps and then I just select that line so there's another bend line there's another bend line okay so what about in here? Because I'm going to be bending this, so I need to notch all this, right? So, I'm going to come up here, and because we're geared around sheet metal in the 2D CAD environment, I can come to this notches and corner details, and we can select a V-notch, and we can um, select a style, so I've got a style there. I'm going to go quarter inch on this guy, um, near side to the center right and then um, distance will go three so boom and then on this side there we go right so we put some notches in for those bends let's go ahead and I'm going to do a partial delete I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that. Right. So this is coming in about there. So I'm just going to do a reference line for me just so I can come in here. And what we'll do is I'll do this one here right so I need to come in and there there and then I'll do a partial delete right so we should be able to um, 
Oh, actually, I probably need to go here because I'm going to bend this up as well. So if I get this line here, I'll just go down to here. And then I should be able to go merge this one with this one, right? And then I'll do a partial delete here, here, here. I don't think I've got any double lines there, so that should bend up. Get rid of that. I, I should have used a notch tool and just come in and did a notch, but it's fine. Um, so we should be able to bend all those lines, and then we'll bend all those lines, right? So I need to do the same to this one. One there, one there. Come in partial delete. All right, so we got those notches in for those lines, and now I need to put a bend line in from here, right? So I'm going to come in and we're going to do bend line. And we'll snap it to here. I can probably snap it all the way across. Right, so there we have our bend line. <coughs> now... So that's how we draw a little bit in 2D. I need to change this one because I'm going to bend that one as well, I believe. So we'll go edit, edit properties, line type. There's our bend line there. All right, we should be good. Right, so now you want to put some holes in it. I'm going to select the hole section here. You can do radius or you can do um, diameter. I'm going to do diameter 0.750. Uh, we'll give it a solid line. I'm going to hit origin, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my mouse on here. And then I'm going to come over here and enter the coordinates. So I'm going to go 1.0, enter, 1.0, enter. And there we go. There's my first hole, and I'm going to put a couple more in there. So I'm actually going to use the mirror command hit the mirror select corner repeat and you're just going to select the corners so I'll select that corner and I'll select this corner <coughs> and there we go I've got my hole commands in here maybe I want to put a little bit of a rectangle in here right so um, We'll go ahead, we'll, we'll put a square in here, 1.0.875. I'm just going to place this anywhere on here, right, one there, one there, okay, and there we go, there we have our drawing, so file, uh, save drawing, and I'm just going to call it pan. O2, save it. Right, so now here you can come in, you can put sheet metal drawing um, annotations in here, dimensions, just by coming in here and you can snap a dimension. Right, and you can put a dimension in. Or you can come up here, I do utilities, dimension utilities, automatic dimensioning, hit apply. And it gives me a little hole chart here, so I'll just switch that there. Hit OK. So there's my drawing. It's already drawn like that. But now what I'm going to do is I want to add a border around it. So I've got a border saved where I do a lot of stuff here. So here's my drawing. 
I come in here and I'm going to go cursor. Whoops. I'm actually going to go <clears throat> down this one here. Recall a symbol I have. Um, and I should have a drawing border in here somewhere. Um, maybe not. Oh, I, apparently I lost where I put it. <laughs> so, um, let's see here. But it, what it will do is it place a drawing board around it. And um, that way you can print that out and it can be your sort of a shop print. Right? I'm actually going to delete this. Right? If I come in here, I can go to... Um, over to my part now I can grab whatever file I want because I may have a, a side view a top view an isometric view in this CAD but I just want to grab my flat pull it in um, say what machine it's for hit OK and there we have our flat drawing and then I can go into tooling and I can start tooling up my part if I go back to drafting, um, maybe I want to make a 3D file, okay, to send it to my press break or something like that. I can come in here and go um, <clears throat> edit properties, and I can use this command here, edit bend properties, and I can give it an angle and I can give it a radius. So 0.90, 0.90. 033 close that and I can click on all my bends here click 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 right and then I should be able to come in and upfold this upfold Oops, so I've got an error on there, and that's okay, we can take a look at that, but if I come back here and I'll just go to um, one of them, so, uh, if I come in here, you can see I've got one already, so I've assigned the bend lines to it, if I upfold this, it should upfold it. it's created yeah save that jump over and there you have your 3d part that you can save out right so that's how um, you sort of use the CAD so um, there's a lot of different functionality in here a lot of way to do a lot of ways to do things but um, stick around we'll do some more CAD this week okay thank you have a great day enjoy